In today's video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Edge Collider. Now, the Edge Collider is quite similar to the Polygon Collider, except for the Polygon Collider completely encompasses something, so the, the ends connect. Where the Edge Collider, it does not. It's just basically a line that you can break up into segments. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at it. So for this one here, I've got a background, and I'm just going to add it to that, and then we got this coin that we have rigged up with a rigid body and a circle collider. And we're just going to use that and physics to roll this coin around on the edge collider. So I'm going to come back. We've got the edge collider selected. You should be able to see that green line going across. Let me go ahead and turn the sprite render off. There we go. Now, before we start editing it, let's look at some of the other properties. The first four after the edit collider are the exact same as you see on every other one. So for the material, we can go ahead and add a physical material 2D which allows us to control how bouncy or how sticky this game object is going to be. Because we can set the is trigger, we can now detect collisions or trigger events on this collider. And of course, we can also use effectors on this collider as well. We can go ahead and play with the offset on the X and the Y. And while I'm here, I'm actually going to lower this down to where the floor is. As that's what I'm going to be using this collider for. And then again, we have info, gives us some nice debug stuff, but again, we can't edit it directly. I'm going to keep it open, as well as opening up the points, just like in the Polygon Collider. We get a list of all the points along this collider itself. And right now, it just has two points, one in each end. Well, we're going to change that soon. So let's go ahead. We're going to click on Edit Collider. We'll come in. And remember, when you see a thick green line, that means you can click on it to add a point. And then... Drag that point to where you want it. So, you know, you can go anywhere with it. I'm just going to quickly map out a couple spots here. And you got to go far enough away from the last point to be able to get a new one. That's okay. I'm not going to map out the whole floor here. You get the idea, right? You can just go along, shape stuff. Uh, you can really get in there and mold stuff around the edges perfectly if you so wish. But anyway, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at how it interacts with other colliders and rigid bodies. So I did want to point out that I do have the cave on the background layer, but that doesn't matter because all colliders are essentially on the same layer, should still work regardless of the layer they're on. So I have my coin on a default, just to make sure that my coin stays in front of my background. So we'll go ahead, we'll watch it, I'll drop the coin, and because of this background layer, or sorry, because of the collider on the background layer, it should hit it about here, which is going to cause it to kind of like bounce in this direction. Of course, it's going to hit and bounce a couple times. It's probably not going to have enough force to get up over here, but we should get some rolling along the collider. So let's go ahead. We'll start it up. And sure enough, it should fall. And there we go. It hit up here and rolled. It's actually, uh, well, it's still there. Let's actually select it and move it a bit. We can go ahead and put it on the top here. There we go. Not too bad. I already want to make a stunt track. <laughs> uh, there's one more thing I wanted to point out. And let's select the back. And just like with the polygon collider, if we hold down control, well, we have it editing. You can make the points turn red. And when they turn red and you click them, it deletes them. And of course, we can go ahead and add them back in as needed. But anyway, like I said in the other videos, a lot of the colliders, most of the properties are the exact same. But I'm going to go ahead and include the rest just for the sake of completeness. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>